Hi, this is Kathy with another holiday edition of Tippin' on Tuesday, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little uh, Christmas gift box. Um, isn't that a, so cute? I just love this little reindeer. He's so cute. Um, so let's get started. What you'll need for this project is the Seasonal Chum stamp set, and we'll be using the little reindeer and the to and from. And then also this stamp here from the Christmas Pines stamp set. You'll want a piece of Whisper White that measures 12 inches by five and a quarter inches. So you'll be using the 12 by 12 Whisper White uh, card stock and you can get two of these boxes from each sheet. You're gonna score it at, um, let me turn it around this way so it's, it's correct. You're going to score it at a half inch, three and three eighths inches, six and a quarter inches, and nine and one eighth inches. You're then going to turn it sideways and you're going to score at three and a half inches. Okay. You'll also need a piece of the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper, and this measures four inches by four inches, and it's scored all the way around a half inch from the outside. You'll need a piece of the um, seven eighths inch striped black and white ribbon uh, tied into a bow. This is gonna take you about uh, 10 inches, maybe 12 inches to, to make a bow um, with. You'll need two pieces of the um, shimmer, I think it's 3 8 inch shimmer ribbon in the annual catalog, and this is in basic black. I just love how shimmery that is. I think it's beautiful. And then an eight and a half inch piece of jute ribbon. For inks, you'll need the Tuxedo Black Memento ink, you'll need Old Olive ink, and Early Espresso ink. And we'll be working with the blends today, and so you will need the Light Smoky Slate, the Light and Dark Crumb Cake, the uh, Dark, or I'm sorry, the Bronze, the light cherry cobbler and the dark daffodil delight. So those are the blends that you'll be using to color with. So we'll start with the box by stamping the uh, reindeer and we only need the top portion, not his back portion, the front I guess, not the back. And so the best thing I think to do for that is to just get a post-it note and place that over to protect that area and go ahead and then ink up your stamp this direction and then just remember to remove that post-it note and then stamp and I'm going to put them in this corner and then I'll just bring that post-it note back again and re-ink it. And place that there. So now I'm going to uh, bring in some scrap paper And place it up here at the top because I'm now going to start doing some of the pine boughs. And some of them I'm going to do one direction and some I'm going to do the opposite. And so I'm going to stamp it and then I'm going to stamp it a second time trying to line it up kind of like with it but not a hundred percent. I like that double look. So this one I'm going to turn and come this direction with. 
and I'm just trying to stay just outside of where the reindeer is. Just like that. And then I'll do the same thing over on this one here. See, don't those look prettier than this? I think the double just really sets it off nicely. And we'll go double this way on this one. Just like that. So now we'll start coloring these and I'll go ahead and just color one and then do the others off camera. Um, so I will start with the, um, the reindeer himself. And normally I like doing some light, lay down some light, then come back with the dark and then come back. But on this one, I'm just gonna go ahead uh, for time and just go with the dark crumb cake first. And I'm gonna put some in his ears because those would be dark. And then at the base of his um, antlers would be here under his chin and his neck, his tail, this back leg, this leg here, um, along here and his belly and then in here and along underneath there. And I think maybe a little bit across his back. And then I'll come back in. And when doing my blending, I like the fine tip better than the brush. So I'm going to just start to work the outside edges. Just making sure that I get it nice and blended along where that darker ink is. Then with the bronze, I'm going to come back and do his antlers. Little bit on the inside of his ear, his nose, and his tail, and his spots, and his hooves. Now on his tail, I'm going to come back with the uh, lighter one and Kind of blend the edge of that too so that it's not quite so stark of a change. And then finally I'm going to come in with the uh, daffodil, dark daffodil, and color in my bell. And with the light cherry cobbler, I'm going to go ahead and put in the bow. And there he is. And then finally, we just want to ground him a little bit. So I've taken the smoky slate and I'm just going to give, give us some ground. Just like that. Now, if you want to make that a little more subtle, then you can come back with your lifter pen and just catch the edge of that. And you'll see it, it creates a bit of a blur to it. So there we go. So now I'll go ahead and color these off camera 
And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to, um, on a scrap piece of Whisper White, stamp the entire uh, stamp with the back as well. And I'm gonna color those two pieces. So I'll be back in a few minutes with those completed. Okay, I'm all done with the coloring of the reindeer. So we'll start with the assembly of the box. I'm going to fold down along this bottom one and then also just go ahead and fold along each of the scores. This, um, let's go ahead and do the cuts for the bottom first. Um, and I'm going to start at this end and I'm going to cut straight up until we hit that um, score line. And then on this one here, I'm going to cut this whole little tab off the side. Along this half inch, I'm going to run my fast fuse. And turn it and lay the box this way and then fold this piece right in and lining up along the top. And that'll make your box lay nice and flat. Then for this one here, I'm going to go ahead and cut along the score line here. And then on this outside tab one, I'm going to cut a little V out of it. So you get that little cut out. And I'll do that on this side. And then flip it around and do the same over on this side. and then fold along each of these score lines. And then each of these little tabs, you can either use glue dots or double-sided tape or um, a little bit of the fast fuse, whatever um, type of adhesive you want to use, I'll go ahead and just use a little bit of Fast Fuse. And then make sure to try and get these as even as you can so that it's um, at a 90 degree angle. On all four sides. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and secure our box here. Just like that. And then there's our little lid. So we'll take the two um, black shimmer papers and one will go up and I'm going to take a piece of, of glue dot and take a glue dot and place that in the center and fold that over as snug as I can get it, just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. This way you can have your box already made, but um, be able to open it back up um, later if you need it, it, when you're ready to add something to it, but it's all assembled. Just like that. And then I'm going to take and put some glue dots right along the top of this ribbon here. about three of them kind of all bunched together but I want to keep them on the ribbon and I'll take my bow and press down on that um, 
and it doesn't grip real good because of the, the give to the box. So go ahead and slide that off. And then you can really press really well on those glue dots and get that secured on there. And so now it's ready. it can be put back on there when you're ready. And then for the little tag, I have this little piece done, but I also cut a second one um, with crumb cake cardstock. And the reason being is this, I don't want the inside of my tag to have the um, look of the blender pens coming through. So I'm gonna take a little bit of liquid glue and I'm just going to glue this Whisper White one down to the Crumb Cake one. Now be very careful that you um, have them lined up properly. There we go. I'll turn that over and place that right on there just like that. And I actually cut these at the same time. I just layered the two pieces of cardstock and um, put it through my Big Shot and, and it worked. It, it did cut it, um, both of them at the same time. So, And then you're gonna stamp to and from and it looks like I already did this. But let me show you how I did that with this stamp because they are separated. Um, so let me get another one of these little uh, pieces. So here's one that um, from another kit I have and I'll show you how to do the stamping. So again, um, I'm going to use that post-it note and I have some early espresso ink and at the top section, this is so tiny in here, I want the two up here but I don't want the from that close. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my post-it note here and then I can ink up the entire stamp but only get the two and then I'll turn it around the other way and ink up the entire stamp and then just do the from. And then that way, I've got just the to and the from. So bringing back in my one that I have done, I'm gonna fold that over now and give it a good squeeze to, and maybe even with a bone folder, get that to seat down as well as I can, especially since we now have two thicknesses there. I'm going to take my jute ribbon and feed that in. Let's get these ribbons back on our box. Be sliding that over into the center. like that. And then you can just slide your little tag up on that ribbon. Tie a knot in the end. Bring it to the center and there's your little reindeer gift box. So I hope you enjoyed another holiday edition of Tippin' on Tuesday with this adorable little box. And we'll see you back soon and after the holidays.